Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a figure from the Clone Wars line. Uh, I gave you a look at Darth Vader in my last review, so now we're going to take a look at the Jedi Knight that came before him, and that is of course this guy, Anakin Skywalker. Uh, this figure is from the first wave, and the only wave actually, from 2013 of the Clone Wars line. Um, obviously the Clone Wars as a TV show and as a toy line as well has been cancelled, um, that is due to the Disney buyout of Lucasfilm last year. Um, but Hasbro did manage to sneak out a wave of Clone Wars figures um, in 2013. And this Anakin Skywalker figure was one of them. Um, like with Darth Vader that I gave you a look at in my last review, you, again you might be thinking, what makes this Anakin figure so different that I need to pick him up? And again I'll talk about that as the review goes on. Before I do, I want to give you a look at the packaging that this guy comes in. We have the uh, same shape and form as the 2012 Clone Wars packaging, obviously rebranded with the green and white Yoda uh, line look that we've seen throughout Lego Star Wars and all the other products throughout 2013. You can see there you've got a very cool image of Anakin on the side. And on the reverse of the packaging we do have a still image from the Clone Wars animated series, as well as an image of the figure and some other characters available in this wave. Um, I did manage to pick up most of the figures from this wave, uh, minus the repacks. Uh, I did pick up the new Rex, the new R2-D2 and the 501st Clone Trooper. Um, I did skip Darth Maul as I already have him, so I'll be giving you a look at these three figures as well as some others um, in future reviews. So that's the packaging for Anakin. As you can see as well, there is a code included for the Fighter Pods online game. Which I have misplaced unfortunately, um, if I do manage to find it I'll include it in the video description for you. So you can use that on fighterpods.com. So that's the uh, packaging for this figure. Um, one thing to point out is that this wave of 2013 Clone Wars figures um, do not feature the display stands and battle game cards which we saw throughout 2012. Um, that might be a good thing for some, a bad thing for others. But that's the packaging anyway, so let's take a look at this Anakin Skywalker figure. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the review, you may be asking yourself what makes this figure so different to past Anakin figures that you need to pick him up. Um, not that much actually. Um, I think it's the best Anakin figure released so far, um, at least in this particular outfit. Um, we did see an Anakin figure similar to this in 2012, but the head sculpt on that one was just atrocious. Um, no offence, but he looked like a burn victim. You know, Hasbro really screwed up the sculpt on that one. Um, I don't know whether they used a, a bad plastic or what, but it just looked terrible. So this one is a vast improvement. Um, the body of the figure does utilise the same sculpt from the 2012 version. However, it has been repainted to feature a much richer brown colour and a more accurate colour scheme overall. Uh, as I said, the main aspect of this figure is the brand new head sculpt, which looks really nice. Um, obviously, there's quite a bit of definition there to the scar on the side of the face. Um, and the facial sculpt itself is just pretty cool. So, it gets a, a thumbs up from me. Uh, in terms of accessories, he doesn't really come with that many. just comes with his standard lightsaber. Um, there does appear to be a bit more detail with this figure though, as I said the uh, overall paint scheme of the figure looks much better than the original release. Um, you've got the comlink painted on the glove there as well, and of course the buckles on the glove which covers his robotic arm. Once again the lightsaber hilt does feature a peg to plug into the belt, however the hole is plugged in and the blade isn't removable, so it's kind of a redundant feature. In terms of articulation, Anakin has a hinged neck, which means he can look up and down, and of course side to side. He also has swivel forearms, hinged shoulders and elbows, a swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and no articulation in the ankles, which lets the figure down in some ways, but at least he's not one of the uh, five points of articulation Saga Legends figures. Let's just think ourselves grateful for that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the best Anakin figure um, from Season 3 onwards, in my opinion. Obviously, uh, after Season 3, we do see Anakin wear an outfit much more, um, which closely resembles his outfit worn in Revenge of the Sith. 
Um, so this is a good rep representation of that. And again, one of the better Anakin figures released in the Clone Wars line throughout. Um, unfortunately, this wave of figures wasn't made available in the United States. I believe it was only released in the UK, Europe and Canada. Um, so if you do want this figure, you are going to have to look on the secondary market, at least if you're from the US. Um, I do believe it's no longer available in the UK either. Um, it did hit at the beginning of the year, so I realise that this review is a little bit late. Um, but there are still multiple ways that you can pick this guy up, and I'll include some links in the video description where you can do that. So in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this review on Anakin Skywalker from The Clone Wars. And I'll be back with more reviews very soon. Until then, as always guys, thanks for watching, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.